Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Send Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Sense. So welcome to the Bath and Body Works haul from hell. Um, this online order was a disaster and I'm going to tell you about it. So January 7th, I placed an online order. Okay. Um, I got an email confirmation. They said they were going to split the order into two boxes. One was going to be, uh, I'll use this hand. One was going to be soaps, a lot of soaps and candles. These were all SAS items, soaps and candles. The other one was going to be one single lip balm that they decided to ship separately. Okay. Problem number one. I, I noticed on my account that they've charged me for shipping for twice. They charged me shipping for the one box and they charged me shipping, shipping for, I can't speak, shipping for the other box. So I had to get a credit for the double shipping charge. Okay. So I'm waiting for my items. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I call them. They said it's on its way. Uh, it's in Pennsylvania. It should get to you soon. Okay. I'm still waiting, waiting. I called them multiple times. I called them on January 18th. A very nice woman tells me the packages are supposed to schedule to arrive. I see tomorrow, January 19th. She said, but if they, just in case they don't arrive, I'm going to replace what's in your order that we still have in stock so that at least you'll get part of what you wanted just in case the other order shows up. And if it does show up, just keep the extra items as a, you know, a, a courtesy for your troubles. And then she said to me, I said, well, um, what did she, she tells me that if it doesn't show up by the 24th, they can put in a claim with the carrier that the packages of packages are officially lost. And then because I said, what about the other items? You're giving me, you're shipping out a partial replacement. What about the rest of the items? She said, well, on the 24th, if it doesn't show up, we'll give you um, item for item, what you didn't get in whatever scent you want, since they're not going to be in stock anymore. That turned out not to be true. So I got my replacement order today my partial replacement I got today and it's the 25th. So I called and I told them I got my partial order, but I'm still missing three candles and seven soaps. I want to replace them item for item in different scents. So I figured, well, I ordered the SAS candles now I'll just get the new candles. I mean, I deserve it. They screwed up my order royally. I want to get that pink Prosecco frosting that's $29 or whatever. They should give it to me because they, they mess things up. And they said they, they would do it item for item, send whatever I want. I get the woman on the phone today. She said to me, no, 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 that's not true. She said, I can replace your candle. First, she told me the woman on the phone on the night, the 18th should have replaced the whole order at one time instead of doing this half and half BS. Okay. But she said, all right, we'll replace your three candles and your seven soaps. But for the three candles, you have to choose from the SAS candles. We're not giving you new candles. So she said, this is what you have to choose from for your three candles. The three that I picked, which I'll do a separate haul on this. This, this is what was left. Winter candy, apple, Merry Cookie and Velvet Coconut. That's what I ended up getting. My other two options in my wide array of variety was Tis the Season, which I cannot stand, and Holiday. Both cinnamon, red hot, heavy scents. So I was left with only the three. I had five that I could choose from and I had to pick three. So I picked the Winter Candy Apple, Merry Cookie and Velvet Co Coconut. So now I'm missing seven soaps. So she said, for the seven soaps, we are going to be a little more lenient. You can pick whatever soaps you want. 
for the the seven soaps and we'll we'll give you what you want for those so i picked out seven soaps so now they're shipping this order she said i'll get a new order number and it should arrive in three to seven business days i told her this is the second time this has happened i had an issue at christmas where an order disappeared was lost they claimed they had reshipped it. The reshipment was, there was an error and it never went through. And they had to reship it again. So she's like, well, if you're having carrier issues, you may want to choose in-store pickup. I said to her, this just started now, right? And she's like, and I said to her, if the items are available in the store and the sale is, is, not online only, I shop in the store. It's more convenient for me to just do in-store pickup because the store is right on my way home from work, right? So I, I mean, the, the reason that I did this order online is because sometimes they have stuff online that they don't have in the store. That's the whole purpose. Although after this fiasco, I am seriously considering whether I am going to um, shop online with them at all. Although I do have some free items coming to me. I mean, free items uh, as part of the rewards program. So I guess I will be placing an online order at some point in the future. But this was nuts. Okay. So I get my partial replacement today. This is what they do. You ready for this? Okay. I wish I could have shown this to you because I was just... They put the order, okay, they got this, it's, it's one, two, three, four, five soaps, a shower gel, and a lip gloss, right? They got this big box here, right, with this puff pillow, plenty of, plenty of room, didn't want to show the address or anything, plenty of room to put four, five soaps, a shower gel, and a lip gloss, right? No. The person at the warehouse went through great uh, trouble, I think, to cram all of my items, all of my items into this Ziploc bag. Cram them in so that there was not an inch of room to be found. Now, do you see this stuff here? You see those bubbles? Do you know why that's there? Because they squeezed my pink watermelon shower gel. And you can't see what's missing because not a lot of it came out, but some of it came out into the baggie that they stuffed everything into. So my pink watermelon suds in the bag. And then... And I know because my, the bag, because I started to take this, I was like, what the hell is this? And then I start to take the stuff out of the bag and I'm like, yo, why is it sticky? Yes. And the bag smells like pink watermelon. So the, I told this to the woman on the phone today and she's like, we will refund you for the pink watermelon. So I get back a whole $3 and change. Okay. I told her, I said, the whole thing didn't seep out. But it's definitely leaked and it it's sticky. And why did they, why, why did they do this? Why? Okay. Horror show. So. I can't even, I can't even. So what did I get today? So let's get into the hall. So what did arrive? What did I get? And then I'll tell you what I didn't get. So pink watermelon, I got the shower gel. It smells really good. It doesn't smell so good in the Ziploc bag. This is juicy watermelon, pink petals, and dewy aloe. I have the spray and I think I have the lotion, but I ordered the shower gel online. And these were the 250 soaps. I used a 10 off of 40 coupon. So I got the winter candy apple. Everything is sticky. I'm going to have to clean everything because everything is sticky. 
this this literally this literally just smells like soap with maybe this is what leaked i don't know it just smells like soap with a hint of apple everything has got to be um rinsed off so one winter candy apple then i got a uh, one winter berry ice what is a winter candy apple? Winter candy apple is red apple, winter rose petals, and candied orange. Then winter berry ice is ice cherries, juicy orange, and snowy lime. It smells like, like cherry Coke, like cherry Coke with lime in it. So that one's not, not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Then I got uh, one of the holiday mistletoe. I was looking because I couldn't tell if that was a stain or part of the design. I think it's part of the design. It's part of the design. So holiday mistletoe. This is frozen cranberries, icy peppermint, and balsam branches. It smells like fresh balsam. What else is in this? Cranberries, peppermint, balsam branches. I just smell the balsam branches. I don't smell any of those other scents. So, I mean, that's not necessarily bad, but it's basically fresh balsam. And then I got two of the Slay All Day Mary Berry Kiss. Oh, this smells like rotten meat. Rotten meat. That smells terrible. That smells literally like rotten meat. That is the worst smelling soap ever. Oh, that is going back to the store. Let me smell the other one to make sure it's... This is a winter berries, snowy vanilla, and crystallized ginger. I'm going to have to rinse it off before I bring it back to the store. Um, this is, okay, it's the same one. Oh, it smells like rotten meat. It has a horrible smell. That does not smell like Mary, if that's a Mary Berry kiss, that, no, that's awful. This is going back. This is, this, slay all day. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. no it's going back it's going back after i rinse it off and clean it up because of of the sudsing that's going back that's going back oh. and then the the one lip lip balm that i got is this rose balm and this is the uh all-purpose balm and this is sealed so i'm not gonna open that um yeah and i'm sticky So, that's what I got. I So, I'm basically keeping three soaps and one shower gel and a lip balm. And the other two are going back. So, let me tell you. Let me tell you what I didn't get. Um, the... I, did I tell you this before? The candles that I ordered that I didn't get was the pumpkin vanilla creme or the pumpkin creme, whatever the hell that is. The spice cardamom and pumpkin spice latte. The soaps that I got gypped out of were sparkling icicles, one of each. Sparkling icicles, frosted coconut snowball, frosted cranberry, merry berry cheer, two of the snowy alpine mountain which i really liked i already have one of it and one coconut pumpkin latte and i kept telling the woman i was like i see merry cherry cheer snowy alpine mountain coconut pumpkin latte soap still online she's like the site hasn't been updated she's like ma'am the site has not been updated they are not in stock the same thing that blah, the same thing that happened with the candles. I was like, I see Fall Farmhouse, I see Apple Garland, I see 
this, I see that. She's like, ma'am, the website has not been updated. They we do not have them in stock. So they're going to send out seven new soaps. So I'm not going to tell you which ones I ordered because that'll be the surprise. Okay, so she, she said they'll ship in three to seven business days. I should get in three to seven business days. Um, and she said, I'll include one surprise item uh, to make up for all the trouble. And I said to her, you can't uh, do expedited shipping like the other lady said she was going to do. I said, even though the box says overnight shipping and it, I didn't get it until three days later, she's like, the reason for that is because we don't do expedited shipping anymore. We stopped that a long time ago. I said, well, clearly the last sales associate that spoke to me on the phone, although she was a lovely woman, was clearly misinformed because she gave me a lot of bad information. And so that is the saga of the, the end of the SAS horror. That's what I'm going to go, the SAS horror show. I'm going to go to Bath and Body Works tomorrow and I'm going to return the two the two rotten meat soaps after I clean up all this suds and where is that where is the bag The other thing that I can't figure out is and and I I told this to the the woman on the phone that I was mesmerized uh fascinated that why would someone who had in a in a shipping warehouse who's got a big box to put items in take the time to carefully cram everything into a baggie to make it fit when you could have just thrown it in the box with the damn air puff pillow instead of doing this what is this Oh, okay. That is my Bath and Body Works rant. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land. Okay, guys, I'm back. You're not going to believe this. You are not going to believe this when I tell you <laughs> the replacement order she said I would receive an email confirming my replacement order and I did receive an email and they got everything wrong they put stuff in here the they just picked out of the sky. None of this is not what I ordered. I gave her, I very clearly told her what I wanted. And I was supposed to get three candles and seven, seven soaps, three candles and seven soaps. So they're giving me two, three, four, five, six, six candles six no more than that oh my god <laughs> oh my god i gotta show you the screen after this they they're giving me two watermelon lemonade candles i told you let me get the list wait let me get the list so she told me i had to choose from winter candy apple Merry Cookie, that Velvet Coconut, Tis the Season, or Holiday. So I picked three. Winter Candy Apple, Merry Cookie, and Velvet Coconut. She, they put in my order two watermelon lemonade, one white velvet coconut, one bubbly rosé, one winter candy apple, and three champagne toast candles. So they're giving me, they're sending me two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight candles. Eight. They put eight candles in my order. <laughs> okay. And then they're giving me how many soaps? Um, I, I specifically, I asked her for two sweet sugar sprinkles, the online only exclusive packaging, which was the feeling loved. And she gave me, instead of two of the online exclusive, she gave me four of the one that has the cupcake on it. I told her I wanted one sweet sandalwood. She put two. They put in here a bubbly rosé fine fragrance mist. Two pistachio cream puff. That's correct. One terracotta canyon. That's correct. Another sweet sandalwood. And white t-shirt. So they gave me... They gave me four, five, six, seven, well, no, let's see how many soaps. Two, no, four, there's four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten soaps and eight candles. And I'm supposed to get seven soaps and three candles. Now, I was going to call them up and correct them. But you know what? <laughs> You're sending me eight candles. <laughs> you... Okay. I'm not calling them back. I'm not calling them back. I'm not calling them back. Nope. I'm not calling them back. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They just, they just sent me a whole, a whole, but oh, and then in a separate package, it gets better, a separate order of Merry Cookie. So they're sending me nine, <laughs> nine candles instead of three. It says your order can't be changed at this time. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. So let me show you something. Okay. watermelon lemonade they're sending me sweet sugar sprinkles in the packaging that i didn't want they're sending me white velvet coconut as you can see two watermelon lemonade four of the sugar sprinkles one white velvet coconut. Two of the sweet sandalwood. I told them I only wanted one. Bubbly rosé, which I don't know where that came from. A bubbly rosé fine fragrance mist, which I already have. Maybe that was the surprise. Uh, winter candy apple. That one is correct. There's one. Two of the pistachio cream puff. That is correct. One terracotta canyon, that's correct. Another sweet sandalwood for a grand total of three when I told them that I wanted one. One white t-shirt. And three champagne, three champagne toast. <clears throat> I don't want to show my, my address number. And then in a separate item order, separate shipping, 
They're sending me Mary Cookie. Now, this order confirmation, this order confirmation could be completely wrong. And maybe they're sending me the items that I ask for, or maybe they're sending me nine candles instead of three. And how many souls was that again? Four, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven soaps instead of seven. And then, um, like I said, I scroll down, scroll down, and then in a separate order, Merry Cookie. I'm so tired of them. I'm so tired of them. I don't know what they did, but um, I'm not calling them. I'm not calling them. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Let them, let them send me all the stuff that I did not order, that I did not order. And, and when it comes in the mail, if it comes in the mail, if it ever shows up, I'll show you guys what they sent me. That is completely, I don't know what they did. Don't know. This is the craziest, most bizarre experience that I have ever had with Bath and Body Works. And I've been shopping with them for, I would say, as a loyal, loyal customer for over seven years. And this has never happened before. This is craziness. This is, okay. So. Comment, read, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. Let me know what you think. But until then, goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land. Whoa. For good this time. Well, for now this time.